welcome to the discussion of a recently approved vaccine, Tengvaxia, by the FDA in 2019. So in this video, guys, I'll be discussing about the structure of this vaccine, how we have designed it. We'll be discussing about the route of administration, the number of doses to be given, and the most important part, what is the indication in which patients cannot give it to each and every person. So there is a certain indication, certain age group where we should give it. And there is obviously a logic behind it. We'll discuss all of it in this video. Let's begin. So let's discuss about Dengvaxia. Okay, so what is Dengvaxia? Dengvaxia is a live tetravalent recombinant Dengu vaccine. So it's a live tetravalent recombinant Dengu vaccine which has been approved by FDA in 2019. I guess to begin with, I'll talk about the structure of this vaccine. How does it look like, right? So this has been designed on a backbone. The backbone is 17D yellow fever vaccine. So we have taken this vaccine as the backbone on which we synthesize. We have synthesized the Dengue vaccine or the Dengue vaccine. So let us see what is the structure of 17D yellow fever vaccine, right? So you can see here that this is the structure of 17D yellow fever vaccine. So you can see what you have done here. That is, we have taken this PRM, that is pre-membrane gene and the envelope gene of 17D yellow fever vaccine and then we have replaced them with the dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, dengue virus 3 and the dengue virus 4 gene, right? So 17D yellow fever vaccine has been taken and we have some made some alterations so that this vaccine can carry all the four strains of the dengue vaccine, right? So now, so this can be an MCQ point in your exam, right? This can be an MCQ point in your exam from which vaccine it has been developed. Now, coming to the dose of the Dango vaccine, there is 0.5 ml is given by subcutaneous route, and the first dose is given, then after 6 months, second dose is given, then after 12 months, third dose is given right so this is how we give three doses of this vaccine so three doses of this vaccine are given at interval of six months first dose after six months second dose third dose after 12 months so the indication of this vaccine what is the indication of this dango vaccine guys um, the important criteria one is age so it is indicated in the age group 9 to 16 years. So why this age group? The reason being because the main aim of this vaccine it is to prevent or reduce or decrease the risk of severe dengue disease that is dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome. Now if I go beyond 16 years in this case in the adults there is a decreased risk of dengue shock syndrome or dengue hemorrhagic fever right. So that is why it is not used in adults. Now in this case, what happens below or less than 9 years, obviously here there is an increased risk usually. But now what has been seen, the vaccine, it further increases the risk. So in young children, if vaccine is used, dengue vaccine, there is even more risk of a more severe Dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome. So below nine years, children are not included. So what we have zeroed in is on the age group of nine to sixteen years. So that is one condition, right? Now, is it that we give it to all the all the people around the world? No, we cannot do that. We give it only to those patients with a lab confirmed. One infection of dengue. So we only give it to a patient who has already been infected with dengue, who has already uh, had been 
do this disease once. Why? The reason being, after the one infection, what happens? There would be second infection. So if there is a second infection, it becomes a trouble. See how? Because when I talk about the first infection, then what happens? That the first infection is usually tolerable. So in first infection, people usually do not develop dengue shock syndrome or dengue hemorrhagic fever. It is only they develop in second one. Why? Let us see. In first infection, it is tolerable, but the body develops immunity. A body develops antibody. For example, suppose uh, there is a patient who uh, was infection with the first strain of dengue virus, Den V1. And then antibodies were obviously developed against Den V1. Then what happened? The second infection now the patient has with the third strain of dengue virus, for example. Now what happens? These antibodies against Den V1, they will attack the Den V3 virus and these are called as the heterotype antibodies. So this heterotype antibodies they will attack can be three and this results in an increased uptake by the monocytes and there is a higher viral load in the patient there is a higher viral load in the patient and that is why this significantly increases the risk of dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome right so severe disease risk is much higher in the second infection so what we do here see what we are doing to get rid of this sorry after the first infection what i do i give the patient vaccine vaccine that is tangvaxia and now my vaccine it acts like the second infection. So, right, what I'm doing here is I'm replacing the second infection, which is supposed to be very severe, with the vaccine, which actually won't cause an infection. So, it replaces the second infection, and now, now when the second infection happens, it will behave like a third infection. Right, so I've replaced the vaccine with second infection and now the second infection will actually behave like a third infection. So what I'm doing is we are bypassing that risk. Now what will happen if I give it to a naive patient? If I give it to a naive patient who never had any infection of dengue, then in that case guys, my vaccine can behave as a first infection. My vaccine can behave as a first infection and actually the first infection can will behave like a second infection and thus in that case there will be a high risk of dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome so if i give it if i give it to naive patients there would be a high risk there will be a high risk of high risk of dengue hemorrhagic fever or dengue shock syndrome Right guys, so this is what we have to discuss here about this new vaccine called as Tangvaxia.